Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. We praise God. We praise the Lord. We thank the Lord for our being here again this morning. Can't see any documents. The glass is not working fine. Yeah. But we still here. We still have sight. We can still see. We may not have to see it clear if we want to, but we can still see. But we do praise God. We give honor to our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, to our Pastor, and to all of you that are in the house. It's good to be in the house of the Lord one more time. And we hope our devotion service this morning. We thank the Lord for all of you that are here this morning. Amen. Amen. And I know we got a lot of time, so I, I'm praying that somebody help us sing this morning. To, uh, but we will do that. We will open up with a scripture and our prayer first. Amen. Amen. And since we, uh, I know the Pastor Patrick and Mike are uh, back and forth, so I just uh, do the script and do the prayer myself. Amen. Amen. Our scripture comes from St. John 9th chapter and began at that verse 1. And as Jesus passed by, he saw a man who was blind from his birth. And his disciples asked him, saying, Master, who did sin, this man or his parent, that he was born blind? And Jesus answered, Neither had this man sinned, nor his parent, but that the work of God should be made manifest in him. I must work, at, I must work the work of him that sent me, while it is day night coming when no man can work. Listen what to Jesus. As long as I am in the world, I am the light of the world. Amen. Living in a world of darkness. We talk about how dark it is in here this morning. But we live in a world of darkness. But as long as Jesus is here, he is the light of the world. And if Jesus is in us, and we have been studying in, in, in Matthew, we too are the light of the world. And people should see Christ in us, that light that raised us, that Christ in our life, and so we are the light of the world. Amen. 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 Let us pray. I gave my, gave my big time to get all the children right. He let us pray. Father God, again, we come this morning to thank you, Father God. We come to lift up your holy name. We come, Father God, first of all, Father God, let us thank you for life, night, rest, and how you have brought us up to this very moment in our life. We praise you and give you the glory. We understand, Father God, we just didn't get here on our own this morning, but we're here because of your grace and your mercy. So we thank you this morning. So while we're here, Father God, let your spirit have your way. Bless everyone that understands my voice, though that by our way. For we come to lift up our holy name. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 I declare at this time that our testimony serves us. It open that you may have a song, a prayer, whatever the Lord has laid on your heart to do. For God has been good to all of us, and He's certainly been good to me. I, I, I want nothing wrong this morning, what God was late getting here. I just won't move fast enough. But I thank God that I'm here, and I look back over the thing that the Lord has brought me from. They sing this song, if it had not been for the Lord who on my Amen. side, Amen. God has been on my Amen. side in my good time and my bad time. And you know what? I don't know about you, but I'm going to rejoice Amen. and have a good time Amen. while I'm here. Not just here in the church, but even at home, even when things look bad, I'm still going to rejoice. Amen. And you can hear people say, well, I don't let nothing bother me. I don't to a certain extent, but let's be honest. Mm -hmm. When things happen, even when things happen to your family, Amen. you might can pray <coughs> God and, and put it in your hand. But if you hear me, you got to think about yes, it. Yes. But no, still yet, 
that God is on my side. Amen. There's a hymn for us. And so ain't nothing we try to fool nobody. I, I can do this and don't bother me. I trust God in everything. Amen. And I pray all the time. A thing that I don't see. Sometimes I tell God, I can't see my children, you don't know what you're doing, but I'm praying for them anyway. Amen. 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 I'm praying for them anyway. So I praise Amen. God. I give God all the praise. Amen. And I, I, I can talk, I can give him praise. So I, I look back at all what the Lord, oh, what the, how good. I couldn't even begin to pay him for this thing that he did for me. I think the sunrise said, What should I run to all his blessings? Amen. I don't know about you this morning. I, 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 I can't think of other things. I just keep peaching on a blessing. Every night, just, just keep it low, I think. If nothing, if I don't get and try to blow the top off the house in the morning time, say, uh, uh, praying with Lord, I thank you. And I do. From the bottom of my heart, I pray, Lord, I thank you, Lord, for all what he has done. And I thank for what he's going to do for me. So I believe in a blessing. And I believe in the promise that everything that God has promised me, I believe it's going to come true. Amen. And I live by that. We may not see it all, but I believe in promise. Amen. Amen. So if you have a word, a prayer, a, 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 you have a prayer, I mean, a prayer, a song, or whatever way you want to think, uh, uh, thank the Lord, it, 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 uh, uh, it, the door is open to you. Amen. Amen. Sister got me good one reason I slow and like the sister I try to get my breath in this morning. <laughs> I give honor to God who has been in my life. And I, I just thank God for all he's done and all he's gonna do. Um, it's a blessing to have four <laughs> of the grands in, but um nevertheless we are here. Um I remember going up our parents will bring us to church. And you know, now we'll take our children everywhere, but when it's time to go to church, we don't want to bring them. So I just thank God for having them here. And as I was talking to the oldest one, um, him being able to relate back, um, you know, who God is and what God can do for you. So to me, that's a blessing. And I just, um, if you can do, if you can just pray for me, pray for them, Amen. and I'll continue to do the same for you. Amen. Amen. I do get home to my Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. I salute him somehow. For everyone in the house, truly I thank God for waking me up to see another day. I realize through it all, it was nothing but the grace of God for me mm -hmm. being here. Mm -hmm. And I just give God the praise and the glory for all He done for me, all He done for you. Because there is nothing in life we can do without God on our side. Amen. I just want y'all continue praying for me and I pray for you the best Amen. I know how. Amen. Amen.
uh, looked at all these young people here this morning, and did not uh, brag, did not uh, to uh, pat on your own shoulder, but the other night, one of my granddaughters called me, and when they said, Papa, I look, what do you want? <laughs> and But she, you know what she called? She said, Papa, I, I, I've been working, I haven't been back to church in a while. I just want you to pray for me. Amen. So I said, ain't nothing wrong with it, because you, you, you know how you, know, you do it. Yeah, I know you. She said, no, Papa, it ain't that. I, it's just that I haven't been to church, and I just want to hear you pray for me. Amen. And two of them together said, pray for both of us. Amen. And Because, uh, see, one thing they knew, Papa, was we coming up in that house, in my house. Amen. Probably just like buying groceries. Amen. And, and so, and, and it's good to know, and, and I don't care what, and I'm looking at the young people in here now, so when they ask you, and they're looking at us, so, so there's going to be time in their life that they may call and ask, it, it, it comes off God, I know what we call in that time and late, but just want to have a prayer. Amen. We, we, Amen. We, we need to continue praying for our young yeah. people, supporting yeah. our young people, and, and just because they're not where we want to be, Amen. don't mean we can't pray for them, but it be where the Lord wants to be. Amen. Amen. I, I just have to put in, if I look at these young people, and I made it clear to them, and we come to this season where it's great racing a lot, and so we got a lot of young people going to the new world, start a new life, and they weekend, I'll be going the weekend, if I got grandchild, I'm ready, ready. So I will be there that Friday morning with the same word, pray. Amen. Pray, friend. And they were out there, pray for our young people. Yes, they are some dark days they live in. It's not like where when we come up. Yes, but they are going through the thing we never went through. Never thought we would have to go through. Amen. Could even dream of the thing that we're going, they're going through now. So and, and I, I know this is but I, I just want to put that. Amen. 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 Uh -huh. I, I would like to say something. Um, um, although I don't serve him as I should, um, he's been good to me, and I'm going to continue to serve him in the way that I know how. Um, but I just want to say, last couple of weeks, uh, you know, I do a lot of video and a lot of funerals, and um, I was at one funeral. I won't video on that one. And when I left that funeral, was a young guy. He was about two years younger than I. Left that funeral. And uh, before I could even get home, I got a call um, asking me had this other young man um, died. So I made a phone call, found out he had. Um, so it's just good to be here. I mean, those guys younger than me, I, I have made it 60 years old. If I don't wake up in the morning, it's all right with me. Yeah. But I want to say, I, I, I'm not speaking for a whole lot of folks, but I'm not going to let nothing and nobody turn me around. Amen. Nothing Amen. and nobody. I'm not going to worry about anything. I don't care what it is because when I say it, I turned it over to God. I turned it over to God years Amen. ago. So I don't care what it is, family member, anybody. Whatever's going to be is going to be. And I have no control over it. And so I said that to say this about two Sunday nights ago. My son always, he had worked and he had stopped by a friend's house. And he normally texts me when he gets home. And so he hadn't texted me, so um, I looked at the phone, I said, mm, he didn't text me. Okay, about 10 minutes later, he called me, he said, uh, I just hit a tree in the highway. Mm. I was like, wow. I said, where you at? He told me where he was, so I put on my clothes, I didn't even tell my wife. I went to where he was. The tree fell all the way across the road. It was a dark road, so he couldn't see it till he got up on it. Mm -hmm. it, it, didn't, it did $2,500 for damage, but you can't really tell. But he was parked on the side of the road and waiting for the state patrol to come. And, and I had called the sheriff's office because I didn't want to down, you know, sit inside the road by itself in the area. So um, the sheriff came and all of them. But anyway, a female came through. Now he could drive his car away. A female came through, so I'm parked on the opposite side of the road, but she didn't see the tree. And so she hit the tree and and um, they had to tow her car in because mm -hmm. um, really the antifreeze, antifreeze was leaking and everything. Okay, yesterday, <laughs> I had a meeting to talk, I said, okay, I got out of the meeting. I said, I got an easy day. So, uh, uh, the sheriff Knight was down Greenville visiting some people at the hospital. So, I called him. He said, well, uh, I said, what you going to do? I said, we'll get some to eat. So, I said, I want to go to A to um, 
Skylight Barbecue. Pete Jones. I say ain't been there a long time. Basically, want to go get it for my daddy. So I went and met him down there. So we was talking about something happened to his car, and I was like, "Yeah, I want to get rid of mine." I think, and I said, "Uh," and and I said something else. He was like, "Yeah, you said two things." He said, "I reckon your car must they want you to get rid of it." And uh, I don't know what I said. I said something all the time. So I stopped by Sam Club, filled up, was on the way on Davenport Road, ran on the edge of the road. I was looking at how they fixing the road up coming from um, um, from Mother Francis' house, from that way, how they paving the road on the side of the road. And on Davenport Road, it's a small road, but I ran on the edge of the road on the white line, but the, the pavement was broken. I thought maybe I had one flat tire. I pulled over the side of the road, I had two flat tires on the same side. So um, I called Rick Truck, called Sam Club, said they're having the tires. And, and I was frustrated with them because they won't pick it up because I won't see that they have the tires that I had because I got the Sam Club. But anyway, uh, it took about 45 minutes. So I called Rick Truck, they came, and I said, I don't know how you're going to do this. So he had to switch the tire out so he could pull it from the front. But anyway, um, when he, when we, um, that's, it was the tire on the back that he switched around, but the tire on the front, we had moved that one, so when I got some guys to come, I went and got my old tires and put back on so When the guy came and took the tire off on the front, that rim was tore all to pieces, so it wouldn't have made no difference if um, they had tires anyway, because I wouldn't have had a rim to put it on. But the front rim tore up, the back rim tore up, the tires tore up, so I got to go buy tires, and, and I got to put my son's car in the shop tomorrow get a rental car. So now I got to go buy tires for my car. But back in the day, I used to let stuff like that worry me. But I ain't letting nothing worry me because that's out of my control. I'm just going to do what I got to do. I'm glad the Lord blessed me to have a job and be able to pay for all this stuff. And, and I'm not going to worry about it. I don't care because it, it could have been worse. It, it, I was just leaving. I think it was on 45 and I hadn't just pulled off. So I don't think I'd probably run about 40. But I could have flipped the car. I mean, that was a bad spot there. So, I, you know, I, it could have been worse. It could have been worse with my son. So, again, like I say, I trust and believe. Amen. And I don't care what it is. I ain't going to let nothing and nobody turn me around with Amen. things that I cannot control. Amen. So I just thank him for blessing me to make 60 years old. Like I said, if I don't wake up in the morning, so many people that have gone on. And I, 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 you know, I, I'm concerned about our young folk because they, they make bad choices. Yes. But, you know, I, I tell you, you know, I, 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 it's out of my control. Amen. So I can just be there to support the families, and that's what I'm going to do. Amen. But y'all just pray for me and and um like I said, don't let nothing nobody change your mind. Thank you. Kishana Braswell, following Sunday. We encourage every member of the Anderson Chapel Ministry Baptist Church to, pro to support and give all or as many church functions as possible. We are all in one body of Christ. 
and you need all members of the body working together to keep the body strong and productive. Pastor's vision statement. I believe that all people matter, matter to God and that, the, and that Christ's message and ministry through the local church is the hope of the world. Amen. Thought for the week. God will meet you where you are in order to take you where he wants you to go. Amen. Acknowledgement. Pastor Lewis, Lewis in the NC Chapel, NC Chapel Ministry Baptist Church, family would like to thank you so much for sharing, for sharing in our service today. Your love, support, and encouragement has helped to make our service a great worship experience. We pray your strength and endurance as we continue to work that God is, that God has begun in you. May God continuously bless you. What a joy and a privilege it is to be in the house of the Lord Thank one more Lord. time. Thank you. God is good and great to be here. Amen. Amen. Uh, first off, uh, uh, she said Pastor's brief this morning, and she was saying to us, she said we'll be brief. Uh, we want to thank God uh, for uh, Sister Braswell and those that attended the CPR classes on yesterday. Yes. A blessing to you, and uh, you are now better able to help assist in your church, in your uh, family, in your home, your community, yeah. and those that may have medical events that happens in their life, that you yeah. may be able to provide some life-saving measures for them. We are thankful for all the members, the officers, and of uh, Anderson Chapel. We pray that you will continue to pray one for another, that the Lord will lead us and guide us and make us stronger and Amen. keep us to on the path that we should be traveling along. And that path is uplifted the name of our Lord and Savior Amen. Jesus Christ. Amen. For he has died, he has given his life that we may live. And uh, please uh, pay uh, attention to our announcements. We do have uh, some events that are taking place here over the next uh, few months. And uh, uh, just a shout out to the uh, uh, women working together, please uh, support them. Uh, continue to pray with and pray for our choir, pray for the ministerial staff, the deacons, the mothers, uh, all ministries that we will do what God has called us to do. Uh, amen. amen. We're so delighted to have all our youth with us amen. today. Amen. And again, give our youth a this service today. And again, shout out to those uh, our Sunday school uh, superintendents, assistant superintendents, and Sunday school teachers and readers for doing such a wonderful job. Amen. 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 But the Bible said, be ye also ready. You never know when you're going to get called. But anyway, I thank God for my being here this morning. Uh, Pastor Lewis, uh, First Lady Lewis, um, Renita Howard, well, Minister Howard, I'm sorry. <laughs> Deacons, mothers, saints, and Christian friends. Good morning. Good morning. You know, it's good to be here, and I accept that welcome from the little lady right there. What's her name? <laughs> <laughs> that welcome. Amen. And I thank you all. Amen. Amen. I was glad when they said it to me. Let us go into the house of the Lord. If you will stand to your feet as the choir, you give us our opening selection. <laughs>
Heavenly Father, we come to you, oh God, just to tell you thank you on this morning, oh God. Oh God, we thank you for the ushers, oh God. Oh God, we thank you for the choir, oh God. Oh God, we thank you for the man, oh God, who's going to break forth bread, oh God, and give us your word, oh God. Oh God, we just want to tell you thank you, oh God. Oh God, we bless you, oh God. Oh God, we ask right now, oh God, that your spirit fill this house. Oh God, in the name of Jesus, oh God, we give you glory, honor, and praise in Jesus' name. Right now, right now, right now.
First, I want to give honor to my Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, to Pastor Lewis, Minister Howard, to all deacons, mothers, members, and friends. Good morning. Good morning. Our May birthday list is as follows. <coughs> and you can give the age if you want to. It's optional. <laughs> Sister Diana Biggs on the 14th. Hi. I'm at 36. <laughs> Mother Frances Dupree on the 16th. Brother Nicholas Cobb on the 21st, today. Yes. <laughs> He's eight years old. <laughs> Brother Virgin Edwards on the 21st, today. Yes, I'm okay. 20, 20, um, 65. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm fixing my own ass out here. Wonderful. Time. Wonderful. <laughs> Sister Laura Willoughby on the 25th. <laughs> 74. Right. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Any other birthdays in the month of May? Yes, my um, mother would have uh, birthday would have been May seventh, and my mother in law May third. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. I have a brother birthday May second, a brother and sister birthday May third. They're not twins, mm -hmm. and a sister birthday May twenty first. Uh uh. Oh, May twelfth. May twelfth. You're right. May twelfth. <laughs> 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 Oh, 
day of our prayer. Mm -hmm. Father, thank you for all that we just received. We thank you for the one that gave. Thank you for the one that didn't give, but have to give. On the next upon the time, give you thanks and give you praise. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. We say good morning again to each and every one that we here. And <clears throat> this morning, I do thank God for blessing me to be here once again. It's so nice that I could be here on this day. And I know you won't be thankful to you for being here today. So let's, let's go into prayer this morning for our call. Precious Father, as we come this morning, Lord, we come, Lord, as humble as we know how. Then, Father God, as we come today, Lord, we just ask you, Lord, just to come into the midst of this service today. Lord, we just ask you to come in and have your way today with, with us. And let, lead us, Lord, in the way that you have us to go behind you on this day. Then, Father God, that we look forward to days to come. We still look forward to holding your hand as you carry us through the days that are coming. Then, Heavenly Father, we just bless you all for, for all what you have did in this past for her. <coughs> Excuse me. And then, Heavenly Father, we just want to thank you, Lord, because you blessed us to see one more day. Yes. A yes. day that we had never seen. Yes. Then, Lord, we just ask you that you have any problems, Lord, just bring it to the altar and leave it at the table. Yes. Just leave it there. And then, Lord, we just ask you to continue to bless bless your Lord that uh, carry you through these days. And again, yes. Heavenly Father, with all with all the children that have been done behind us and in front of us, Lord, we ask you, Lord, just to keep us in your care and continue, Lord, to let us bless you from caring for us. Lord, we want to thank you today for all the blessings that you have blessed upon us during the time that we had trouble in our home, heart, or wherever. We just ask you, Lord, we want to thank you, Lord, for thank blessing you, Lord. us to keep for you bring us out of it. Then, yes. Heavenly Father, we want to give you thanks for all that yes. you have blessed yes. us with on this day, Lord. Amen. 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 Water. 
It's not, it's not, it's not difficult. There's nothing. Jada looked at me like there was some type of trick to it. <laughs> I just want you to take the picture of water and fill, fill your bowl with water.
amen. Let the church say amen. Amen. You can't help me move out of my way. I got a race to run. I got to finish this race. Yes. Yes. Don't need any hindrance. Yes. You can't help right, move on right, out of this. Right. Grace, mercy, and peace be unto you, my father's children. Yes, what a joy and a privilege it is to be in the house of the Lord. One more time. One more time. Another day that the Lord has given the gift of and I'm so glad about it. I don't know about you this morning, but I'm glad to be in the house of the Lord one more time. Amen. Many places it could have been. In many places I would have liked to have been. Some places I wouldn't like to have been. But I'm glad to be here in the house of the Lord on this day. We thank God for this choir. We thank God for the ushers. Give the ushers a they look so nice and so lovely. Yeah, yeah. Wonderful job of uh, advisors and parents that are doing with these young ushers. Yeah. We thank God for them this day. Yeah. The book of John, chapter, book of John, chapter 2. And we're going to read a few verses in your hearing. And we're going to read from verses 1 through 7. Cover a few more, but we're going to read verses 1 through 7. As you have found it, I'm reading from the King James. And the third day there was a marriage in Cana of Galilee, and the mother of Jesus was there. And both Jesus and Jesus was called and his disciples to the marriage. And when they wanted wine, the mother of Jesus said unto them, him, they had no wine. Mm -hmm. Jesus said unto her, woman, what have I to do with thee? My hour is not yet come. His mother said to the servants, whatsoever he saith unto you, do it. Mm -hmm. And there was set six water pots of stone after the manner of purifying of the Jews, containing two or three firklings apiece. Jesus said unto them, Fill the water pot with water. And they filled them up to the brim. And Jesus said unto them, Fill the water pot with water. And they filled them up to the brim. Amen. Amen. Pray with us. Eternal Father, Lord, we come at this time to say thank you. Thank you, Lord. Lord. I thank you for another day that you allowed us to stand here behind this sacred desk. Acknowledge you, Father, that I can do nothing of myself. But, Father, I ask that I will send the preacher, the Holy Spirit, that it may use my tongue to preach your word, use my mind as a storehouse of your wisdom. Let that same spirit abide with these, your children, that someone may profess Jesus as Lord of their life. This we do pray. We say thank you in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 God bless you. you may be seated. Verse 5 and 7. Her mother said. His, his, his children, thank you. His mother saith unto the servant, Whatsoever he saith unto you, do it. Jesus said unto them, Fill the water pot with water. And they fill them to the bread. We want to talk to you today as the Lord will allow us this morning. Whatsoever he saith, do it. The best is yet to come. Whatsoever he said, do it. The best is yet to come. There was a question that was asked in Sunday school this morning about when the master tells us to do something, what is our response? And I heard somebody say that we kind of grumble a little bit. We pull back. We shy away. We think 
that we know more than what the master knows. We definitely think we know more than what our parents know, particularly when we were uh, teenagers. And even in those middle school age, we thought we knew more than anyone else. Mm -hmm. And it was hard for us to follow directions when we are told to do certain things. Amen. But here we are, Jesus and his disciples. Jesus has come to this wedding, mm -hmm. this grand wedding. Yes. And here at the wedding, Jesus and his disciples and all the guests, and there was a problem that developed at this wedding. Mm -hmm. The problem was that Jesus' mother came and said to him that there they have no wine. They ran, they ran out of wine. A grand festification mm -hmm. for the bride and the groom, mm -hmm. for the family. This was a social mistake. Jesus. Because this could shame the bride and the groom mm -hmm. for a long time. Mm -hmm. A wedding in this time said was supposed to be the best party of all. Mm -hmm. And for the host providing adequate hospitality partially in the form particularly in the form of food and drink mm -hmm. if they fell short was a great dishonor. Mm -hmm. Some believe that one of the reasons why they ran out of the wine was partially the presence of of Jesus and his disciples. Mm -hmm. But they invited Jesus, mm -hmm. both he and his disciples. Yeah. Mm -hmm. If you look at verse 2, it says, and Jesus was called and his disciples mm -hmm. to the marriage. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Maybe he came with a bigger entourage than they expected, but nevertheless, whatever the case was, mm -hmm. they ran out of wine. Maybe they were of a poor class and they didn't have sufficient funds and they had the minimal provisions for the guests yes. and was hoping for the best. Yes. Yes. Many of us know that. We know how sometimes we put together a birthday party, some other party, and we, we know we look at our funds and the funds are looking a little funny and we we call our guests and we cut back on this and we cut back on that, praying that everything will last yes. throughout the whole party. Yes. But here we are. They, the guest was there and they was now falling into the, the verge of being a social disgrace mm -hmm. because they was running out of wine. Additionally, rabbis of that day considered wine a symbol of joy. Mm -hmm. Therefore, to run out of wine would have almost have been equivalent to a man that neither the guests nor the bridegroom were happy. Mm -hmm. They have no wine. We don't know exactly why Mary brought this problem to Jesus, her son. Perhaps she was eagerly anticipating the day Jesus would miraculously demonstrate yes. that he was the Messiah. Yes. And in doing so, when people saw that he was the Messiah, it would vindicate all those who talked about her in the shadow of her pregnancy. Mm -hmm. It would be vindication for all those that questioned her. Yes. But yet, she comes to her son and says that they have no one. Mm -hmm. It wasn't wrong for Mary to sense that the time had come for her son to enter public ministry. She knew he had been baptized by John and confirmed with the heavenly sign at his baptism. Mary knew he endured temptation in the wilderness. She knew Jesus had been publicly introduced as the Lamb of God who takes away the sin of the world. Read John 1, 29. And had begun to gather himself 
disciples to himself. But yet Jesus asked her a question. He doesn't say mother. He says woman. What does your concern have to do with me? Jesus spoke to his mother with the term of respect. Mm -hmm. Although he did not call her mother, Jesus wanted to now emphasize that the beginning of his public ministry, he now had a different relationship mm -hmm. with Mary. Yes. Mm -hmm. yes. Think about at the cross there. When Mary and John were standing there, mm -hmm. woman, behold thy son. Yes, mm -hmm. yes. And behold, thy mother. Yes. Jesus did not always refer to her as mother in public, but he knew who she was. Yes. Yes. Jesus seemed to say to Mary, I won't do it. It's not my time. But he went on and did it anyway. Yes. Yes. What he really said to Mary was, now we have a different relationship. Mm -hmm. Let me consult with my heavenly father. Yes. Jesus must have prayed and then known what to do. Mm -hmm. That's what we have to do. Yes. Jesus wouldn't tell us to seek the father and not seek the father himself. When Mary came, they had no wine. Jesus that didn't just say, I'm going to do this or I'm going to do that. Yes. But woman, what, have I have, what do I have to do with this? And surely he consulted with his father. Amen. And in consulting with his father, Jesus seemed to, he had to have prayed and asked the father, what will you have me to do? Most surely I say unto you, the son of man can do nothing but he what he sees the father do. Yes. Yes. For whatever he does, the son also does in like manner. Yes. If you read John 5, 19, you read John 5, 30, you say, I can do nothing of myself. I do not seek my own, but the will of the Father who has sent me. Uh, John 8, 28, I can do nothing of myself, but as the Father taught me, yes. I speak these things. Yes. John 8, 29, for I am always do the things that please my Father. He yes. wasn't about pleasing Mary, his mother, mm -hmm. but he was about pleasing his father. Yes. Indeed, his actions, he will take the action as she was so very sure he would. When he told the servants, when she told the servants, whatever he said, mm -hmm. do it. Mm -hmm. In his own way, yes. in his own reasons, and in his own time. Mm -hmm. It's the same thing with us. We may call, we may pray, and we call on Jesus to come. But he comes in his own way. Yes, he, does. he comes in his own time. Yes. But one thing about it, when he comes, yes. he's right on time. Yes. My hour has not come. Jesus expressed my idol hour is generally used to the job. I'll speak to the young people and maybe the, those who don't understand uh, that are older than you. They all understand. He wasn't talking to his disciples. Jesus. He was talking to the servants. Yes. Yes. And some say, well, well, why was he talking to his disciples when he says servants? Well, for one thing, remember Jesus told his, his disciples that he don't call them servants. Yes. Yes. He called them friends. That's right. These are the disciples. Yes. His friends. Mm -hmm. But these here are the servants. The servants that are at, here at this wedding yeah. ceremony, yeah. Yeah. she told the servants, whatever he says, do it. Do it. Do it. We need to take a lesson from that this morning. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Whatever he says, do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. Yeah. Nike has a slogan that says, just do it. I want to tell you, long before Nike had that slogan, we should have had that slogan in our heart. Yeah. Whatever God yeah. says, just do it. Yeah, you know, we, we question God. Amen. Every turn. I'm so glad that when God spoke out in creation, he said, let there be light. Yes. And there was light. Whatever he says, do it. Do it. These words of Mary are few. Mm -hmm. 
However, it is good to pay attention to her words that were recorded because they constantly glorify Jesus, Amen. not Mary herself. It is wise for everyone to obey Mary's direction. Whatever he says, do it. Do it, church. Whatever God says, do it. And many of us, we have... We say we don't know what God has said. How is he speaking to us? We have his word. Whatever he says, do it. Now there was Jaden and Nicholas. Listen carefully. Now there were six water pots of stone. According to the matter of purification of the Jews. Containing 30 or 20 or 30 gallons apiece. Jesus said to them, Fill the water pots with water. Amen. And they filled them up to the brim. Six water pots of stone. Yes. We have here this morning, in the illustration for our youth this morning, we had two glass bowls. Yes. Yes. Jesus said, fill them to the brim. They took the six water pots. Jesus began his ministry by using what he had in his hand. Amen. He could have simply provided more wine yes, yes. in many different ways. He could have spoke mm. and it could have poured down from him. Yes, yes, he yes. could have spoke yes. and it could have filled up from the inside Jesus, of the boat. Jesus, right. He could have spoke yes. and it could have filled up in many different ways. Yes, yes. But he used what he had. Amen. He started where he was. Mm. And there in the midst was the sixth water pot. Yes. It reminded me of Moses uh, when God called Moses and Moses was so fearful about going before Pharaoh. And God asked Moses, what is that that's in your hand? Yes. And Moses said, a rod. And God told him to cast the rod on the ground. Yes. And when he cast the rod on the ground, the rod became a serpent. Jesus. He told him to stretch forth his hand yes. and take that rod, that serpent, and it became a rod again. Jesus. God always meets you yes. right where you are. Yes. Amen. Amen. God provides yes. in a mighty way. Yes. But he also allows us to use yes. what we have. We need to be reminded of that. Mm. Read Exodus chapter 4 and see just how yes. God yes. used what Moses had. Yes. These pots that were set there, the water pots, they was connected with the system of the law because they was used for ceremonial purification. Mm -hmm. The author here says that they contain 20 or 30 gallons of peace. C.D. Spurgeon says, for the significance for this, he says, for preachers in John's a prophet number. John said 20 or 30 gallons of peace. Mm -hmm. John wasn't sure. He wasn't positive. So he could have said it was 20. He could have said it was 30. But he wasn't sure. So he used an approximate number. Let us always speak correctly. Yes. Yes. Almost of thereabouts mm -hmm. will be words that will just save our truthfulness. Jesus. I've learned that in my course of my lifetime. Sometimes we get so fixated on thinking that we're right, this is the way it is, but sometimes we just have to say almost 20 miles, about 20 miles. Because if you tell somebody to go 20 miles down the road, they're looking for 20 miles. It could have been 19 miles. It could have been 21 miles. But therefore, if you say almost or about 20 miles, then they begin looking at 19. And they get to 21, they know they're not out of range. 19, it was almost 20 or 30 gallons, yes. approximately. So, fill the water pots. Yes. The servants under the direction of Jesus were in a unique place, mm -hmm. a blessing yes. for this miracle. Yes. Jesus wanted the cooperation of men in his miracles. Yes. He could have filled the water pots himself. Or oh, he just could easily have created the liquid in the pot. Jesus. But he knew that the servants shared in the word. Mm -hmm. Then they also shared in the blessing. Yes. The servants did not do the miracle. Mm -hmm. 
Their efforts alone were completely insignificant. But because of their obedience yes. to yes. Jesus, yes. they shared in the joy yes. of the miracle. Amen. Church, you got to be obedient. Amen. Listen to the Amen. word of God. Amen. And just do what he said to do. These servants was especially blessed because they obeyed without question. Mm -hmm. They didn't know Jesus. They didn't know where he had come from. Mm -hmm. All they know that he was in the midst. They had heard about him, but even Mary herself, she had not seen his miracles performed to this magnitude, but yet they followed at his command exactly. because the mother of Jesus said, whatever he said, do it. This means that the miracle would be fulfilled in the greatest measure possible. Yes. Yes. If they were lazy, listen, Nicholas, Jane, if they were lazy and only filled the water pots half full, mm -hmm. they would only have been half as much wine. Jesus. Jesus. If they were lazy, and only fill the water pots half full. They will only have half as much wine. Yes. In the book of Kings, Joash the king mm -hmm. goes to Elijah. And because the army, the Syrian army was coming to smite them. And Elijah told them to open the window. Mm -hmm. And told them to take with him his bow and his arrows. Yes. And he told him to put his hand upon the bow. Yes. And he told him to open the window eastward and open it and shoot the arrow. Yes. And he shot the arrow and he took the arrow and he, he smite the, the, the arrow of deliverance from Syria for they shall smite mm. the Syrians. Yes. But he took the arrows and he stole it three times. Yes. And Elijah was wrong mm. because he had five or six arrows with yes, him. Yes. And he could have told him, say, you should have spoke five or six yes, times. Yes. But because you only spoke three times, yes. you shall not utterly destroy the army of the Syrians. Yes. In other words, when you are lazy, yes. when you do not go to your fullest yes. extent, yes. you don't get the full blessing. Yes. All right? Yes. Read the book of 2 Kings and see what the Lord does and say. Yes. Fill to the brim. The water parts was filled to the brim. I asked you this morning to fill those bones to the brim. I said, fill them up. I say, is it full? You say yes. Jamie, you're smiling now. <laughs> you're smiling now. Are they full? That's the reason why there was a furry picture down there. They just feel for what the one that they had. There was a third one there that they both could have shared with. And feel all the way to the top. There's a third lesson within this here right yes, now. Yes. Sometime in order for you to get your greatest blessing, yes. you have to share with one another. Yes, right. Because they could have took that third yes. and worked together and filled to the blip. Yes, but they stopped right where they were. Yes, yes. I'm not going to say that they was lazy this morning, but sometimes they just go to what they expect yes, adults right. want. Yeah. But yeah. fill them all the way to the top. Yeah. There's still room left right there. Yeah. There's yeah. still room for a blessing to, yeah. to yeah. come in. Yeah. See, we think that if we leave it there, something can be added in. Yeah. But watch this. Yeah. Jesus, they fill it to the brim. Yeah. They filled it to the brim yeah. because Jesus wasn't going to add something to the yeah. water, yeah. but he was going to transform it. Yeah. Yeah. Right. He didn't pour anything into the yeah. water. Yeah. Matter of fact, he didn't even speak into the water. Yeah. What he said was, now take it. Mm. Yeah. Right. Right. Take it to the master. Take it to the host. Yes. Take it to 
the chief ruler of this ceremony. They took it out. And they drew out the water and they took it to the master of the feast. And when they took it to the master of the feast, the master of the feast tasted it. And, 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 and because the, the master of the feast was in charge of the water, he was in charge of the food, he was in charge yes. of making sure that everything was good for yes. this ceremony, yes. for this party. It had to be good. It had yes. to be worthy of the party. Yes. When the master of the ceremony tasted what? The, the service brought to him, he said that this is good wine. Yes. He didn't yes. say that it was good grapes. Yes. He said that this is good wine. He said that in order to have good wine, anybody who ever dealt with wine making know that you have to gather grapes. You know that you have to crush the grapes. You know that the grapes got to they got to take time to ferment a little bit. Yes. Sometimes they say good wine comes from uh, with time, yeah. you gotta let it age yeah. a little bit. Yeah. For the longer it ages, the better the wine. Yeah. But here is the wine that came from a water pot. Jesus. The only water was put yeah. in. No other additives yeah. were put yeah. in. But they right. drew out of the wine this morning, and he said it's good wine. Yeah. And the only thing that yeah. has happened, yeah. water poured in. Water drew out. He yeah. took it to the master. As Jesus said, the master drank the wine. Yeah. And he said that it's good wine. Yeah. Well, how did it turn water to yeah. wine this morning? Yeah. Well, it was because Jesus was in the midst. Yeah. And they followed his command. Yeah. Whatever yeah. Jesus says, do yeah. just follow it this yeah. morning. Yeah. Church of the living yeah. God, I feel my helper right now. Yeah. Whatever yeah. Jesus says, do, do it. Just do it. do it. Fill it to the brim. Yeah. Don't worry about it. It overflows. Yeah. He said, fill it yeah. to the brim yeah. right yeah. now. Yeah. Whatever he said, do. Love thy neighbor. Yeah. Love your neighbor. Yeah. If he said, give to the poor, yeah. give to the poor. Yeah. If he said, serve one another, serve yeah. one another. Yeah. Whatever right. he said, do just it. Do, do it. Because yeah. the best is yet to come. Yeah. When the master of the household, he took and he drank yeah. and he gave to his guest. He yeah. said, why is this? Usually they serve the bad wine first yeah. and the good wine first. And the bad wine at the end, yeah. after you've gotten a little tipsy, yeah. your yeah. taste buds is a little out of whack. Yeah. Everybody yeah. thinks yeah. everything's yeah. good. See, this is what Satan does for you. Yeah. Right. Right. Satan gives you the good stuff, yeah. Yeah. makes you think you're living the life, yeah. and then as you get tipsy off the life you're living, yeah. then he brings hell all in yeah. your life, yeah. and you're right. so struggling. Out. 
grace and mercy uh, pleads our case. Jesus. And Jesus said, Jesus. that blood that's on his forehead, that's my, my blood. blood. Church yes. of a living yes. God, do what God commands you to do. Yes. And the best is yet to come. Yes. I'm so thankful Thank that he's blessing me in my life. Yes. I'm so thankful just the other day, Jesus. a young man, many of you know him, met us, uh, saw us at Western Scissor, a young preacher, and he said, let us get that path for you. Jesus. After all that we do for everybody else, he paid our bill. The next day we was in another place. A total stranger did not know who we are, did Jesus. not know us yeah. from Adam or Eve, but yeah. he came up, and yeah. as we was talking to him, they're just sharing uh, the good news, just sharing the love of yeah. God, and as we was getting ready to pay for what what we had. He looked at the clerk and said, add that to my house. I want to tell you this morning that God can do what no other can do. If you just trust him, just do what he said. The best. Satan gives you something. And makes you think that everything's going well. Yes, yes, and then you look at it, it looks like the weight of the world come crashing yes, yes. But I want to yes. let you know that if Satan has tried his tricks, Jesus, tricks on you this morning, Jesus, Jesus. and you feel like you cannot climb out, mm -hmm. I want to offer you hope this morning. Yes, sir. Yes. I want to offer you God's only yes, son. Sir. I want to yes. offer you Jesus Christ. Jesus. The one who died on the cross. Yes, sir. Jesus said that if any man shall mm -hmm. come unto me, yes. behold, I stand at the door and knock. Yes. If any man shall open, I'll come in. Mm -hmm. The wages of sin is death, Jesus. but the gift of God is Jesus. eternal life. Jesus. Jesus. If there's one this morning, Thank you. just do what God says do. Yes. Do what the Master says. Yes. If you're looking for a miracle, Keep on his chance. The best is yet to come. The choir is going to give us a selection of them short. I look here this morning and I have so much more in my notes here this morning. But the Lord say the young people have had enough this morning. And see, this is what it's really is about this, this thing. It's to make sure these young people receive something today. And I know Jaden has something that he's going to carry with him right now. <laughs> the best is yet to do. Just follow what God has called yes. us to do. Yes. If there's one this morning who are lost, you do not know Jesus in the part of your sin, let us rise this morning. Let all of us stand. But if you are here this morning, and you've been struggling with your life because Satan has tempted you with the good things of the world. And you found out that see, Satan came to Jesus and said, turn this these stones into bread. But Jesus didn't do it because, for one because he said that the word said, that shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that receives out of the mouth of God. But yet when his mother came and said they had no water, no wine, he turned water to wine. He did that for them, not for himself. And you have to ask yourself the question, what's your purpose in life? Are you doing it to elevate yourself? Or are you doing it to please God? Yeah. Whatsoever he said, do it. The best is yet to come. Come on, Lord. Lord, I thank you for being there for me. Yes. For being there faithfully. Yes, you are always there. Yes, forever. Thank you. 
say this and my wife she'll she'll talk to me about it later on. My wife was the, one of the certain conditions that she has. She doesn't wear shorts and 
she was sitting in the doctor's office and she was asking the doctor, what can she do about it? And the doctor told her, she said, because she don't wear, she don't wear shorts because of, of this, because of that. He, had, he looked at her and said, you the only one that's worried about it. That's right. <laughs> Why are you worried about what other people think? That's right. We make it hard because we worry about what other people think. Whatever Jesus says, do it. Do, do it. it. That's right. And the best Amen. is yet to come. Amen. Don't worry about those other folks out there. Amen. And we, as the the chapel, our duty, our responsibility is to help you walk this Christian journey Amen. the best Amen. that you can to be all who God has called you to be. Or the world will try to draw you away mm -hmm. with the lures of the world. Yes, sir. Everything that looks enticing out there. But whatever Jesus says, do it. Do it. Don't let the world pull you astray. Amen. Amen. Ms. Brown has come this morning. She has accepted Jesus as Lord and Savior. There is no one in this building that can vote on whether you are saved or not. Amen. That's right. Amen. That's right. Amen. But what say you, church body, as to after she is baptized, as membership at Anderson Chapel? Uh, Brother Pastor, I most, yeah, I most name is Sister Brown. I ask Brother Tilton to come back to the church right hand church. She will give her all the Christian rap that all the other members have here at Anderson Chapel. Amen. Amen. Move to second. May we have a consensus. If there are any disdainers this morning, do we accept Miss Brown this morning? Yes. 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 Amen. Yes. Amen. Amen. Give God a hand clap. Amen. 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 Make sure that uh, Sister Pitt has your name and contact information, and we will we will make arrangements for baptism. Amen. Amen. Thank God for you as pastor. We do welcome you as Amen. God's servant. We do welcome you to the ward. We welcome Amen. you to the church body. And uh, we have we do have a group that we have to take through a new membership orientation. So we after baptism we will get you in that group. Amen. 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 Give God a hand clap. Ministers, members, friends, everybody. Let's pray with them. Let's encourage her. Yes, Let's pray with one another. Let's encourage one another. For God has brought us a, brought a mighty long way. He did not bring us this far to me. Amen. If there's nothing else, we thank God for his grace and his mercy. Let us rise to our feet as the cross will give us our closing from that.